Hi friends, my name is Kalpesh and welcome to my official YouTube channel Automotive Cracks. In this video, I am going to discuss how positive crankcase ventilation which is also known as a PCV works. So let's check it out. The first and foremost question which comes in our mind, why we need a positive crankcase ventilation? So we all are aware with the uh, operating cycle of fan engine during the compression stroke whatever flu hot flue gases which are inside the combustion chamber they blow by the piston and they are accumulated inside the crankcase this pro this process occurs in all operating range of the speed whatever amount of blow by gases which are accumulated inside the crankcase amongst 70 percent of these blow by gases comprises unburnt hydrocarbon which dilute and contaminate the engine oil and sometimes this reasons becomes a cause to build up the heavy sludge in any case if sludge is built up inside the crankcase with the engine oil then definitely our engine will our engine has to work hard for the pumping or, ulti or alternatively or alternatively you can say the pumping losses may be more if you are considering a high speed this blow by gases increases crankcase pressure at high speed more blow by gases which are accumulating inside the crankcase and during expansion stroke it pressurizes so higher amount of gases higher amount of pressure will be blow by gases increase crankcase pressure which can cause a oil leakage from the sealed surface sometimes it can blow the gasket which are utilized to seal the surfaces so ultimately what is the main function of this positive crankcase ventilation the main function of this pcv is to remove these gases from crankcase and combine them with the normal mixture so we can again utilize these gases with the uh, normal mixture we can release these gases into the atmosphere but ultimately it will increase the emission of unburnt hydrocarbons so with the help of this pcv positive crankcase ventilation system we are trying to combine them with the normal mixture so we can reuse that uh, unburnt hydrocarbon so ult ultimately we are trying to reduce the emission of unburnt hydrocarbons Basically, in the Indian automotive market, or you can consider the majority car manufacturers, they are they have adopted two types of positive crankcase ventilation methods. First, it is which is known as a fixed or fixed orifice PCV system, and the second one, which is the advanced, it is also known as a PCV system using variable flow PCV valve. So let's check it out. What is inside these two? matters so the first one fixed orifice positive crankcase ventilation system you can observe in this figure we have a engine and this indicates the intake manifold now here this dark arrow it indicates the blow by gases as i said this blow by they are they are accumulated inside the crankcase and from this crankcase with the help of the hose pipe we are trying to recirculate it into the intake manifold with the help of this hoses we are trying to recirculate this blow by gases through the intake manifold so we can reuse it so we can reuse them and reduces the emission of unburnt hydrocarbons in this system two fixed size orifices used and the reason behind the utilizing the two fixed size orifices is to balance the vacuum strength which is applying to the uh, PCV or you can consider the crankcase with varying operating speed range. For example, you can consider at, at low speed vacuum generated at intake manifold will be higher. It tends to drag the more blow by gases but it can damage the whole system. And sometimes what happens 
if such kind of cases occurs then the oil particles can come into the uh, intact manifold so to avoid such system in this case two fixed size orifice orifice are used so the whole system it works on the basis of orifice size and normal characteristic of intact vacuum so as i said one orifice is here second orifice is here the drawback of this system fixed orifice pcv system is the blow by production does not always match the intact manifold vacuum characteristic as i said with varying operating speed range the vacuum generated inside the intact manifold will also vary and according to the vacuum strength inside the intact manifold which is alternatively applied to the crankcase through this pcv hoses so this blow by production does not always match the intact manifold vacuum characteristic and this can be nullified with the help of the next which is advanced pcv system using variable flow pcv valve in this system variable flow pcv valve is utilized now you can observe this is the you can observe the whole system in this figure which is shown at the right hand side with the same way the blow by gas is accumulated inside the crankcase and they are collected through this channel with the help of pcv valve here the pcv valve is placed now with the help of this pcv valve it continuously controls the flow of the blow by depending upon the vacuum generated inside the intake manifold so this is our intake and this blow by gases with the help of this pcv valve will be mixed with the new mixture at this place and then it will be supplied to the combustion chamber in the normal manner but by using the pcv valve you can observe the characteristic of blow by with varying the strength of the vacuum in this graph which is shown at the left hand side the blow by volume and the vacuum strength at weaker vacuum strength the difference in between the blow by volume and the amount of blow by gas produced and the pcv valve flow characteristic will be slightly you can observe slightly higher but as the vacuum strength is going to be strong then this curve it closely matches with the blow by gas production so by this manner we can eliminate the problem which is faced in the fixed orifice type pcv system now let us see how this variable flow positive crankcase ventilation system works as we have seen in the previous slide to produce the variable flow a small positive crankcase ventilation valve pcv valve is implemented in between the intake manifold and the crankcase so let us see how this valve is uh, going to work now here in this slide uh, four different operating condition has been mentioned and accordingly i'm trying to explain the uh, position or the operation of the pcv valve during idle and the deceleration condition the first condition is the idle condition and the deceleration condition during this condition the vacuum strength it will be quite high and due to that vacuum strength which is applied over here this needle or you can also call it the pintle also known as a pintle this needle will re retract against the spring force and it will travel up to the almost its end so the passage for the blow by it will be very less during idling condition and the deceleration condition the blow by production is quite low and this is the reason this is the way by which the pcv valve controls the blow by flow the second condition you can consider it is the during low load cruising condition now during this condition 
the vacuum strength it will be slightly low as compared to the idle condition and deceleration condition so the needle so the needle it will be set somewhat at uh, you can consider the uh, middle position of its travel and the passage it will be quite larger as compared to the previous condition so the blow by produce during this low uh, load cruising condition it will be passed through this channel and it will goes up to the intake manifold so depending on the uh, speed and the loading condition of the engine the vacuum strength will be uh, vary and simultaneously the blow by production will vary so by uh, by producing the different by giving a different space in between this needle and this wall uh, wall surface it will allow the blow by to flow through this wall the next condition you can consider the during acceleration and high load condition during this load during this condition the blow by production it will be quite high so maximum blow by should pass through this pcv wall so this needle it will be almost at its another end and it will provide the maximum space to pass the blow by through this wall so these three condition indicates the different uh, variable operating range of the engine and varying loading condition of the engine and throughout which the uh, blow by production varies and accordingly the specific valve it controls the blow by flow uh, through the intake manifold now the last condition you can consider when engine is off or the backfire occurs now when engine is off that means no vacuum is applied over this place and this is the reason uh, this needle is completely sits it uh, sits uh, it's on position due to the spring force and there is no blow by will allow to pass through this pcv valve even the second reason in any case if, if backfire occurs in the engine to stop the flame travel into intake manifold this pcv valve remains closed and it will help to reduce the chances of damage so this is how the this pcv valve uh, controls the blow by flow and that that is the reason uh, why this system it is known as a variable flow uh, pcv system so this is what about the uh, whole phenomena of uh, positive crankcase ventilation system so thank you thank you so much guys for paying attention thank you so much for watching this video till end if you like it don't forget to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon which is just next to the subscribe icon so you will get all the notification about this uh, channel thank you thank you so much